It first reported Wednesday, Carson's is closing dozens of stores across the country, including this one at the Circle Center Mall. The loss of the retailer leaves another vacancy in the mall, which has struggled to keep tenants. Our Mary Mills has been looking into what possibly could replace Carson's and why it's so important to fill that key space. Mary. That's right. This is a big loss, not just for the mall, but for downtown. Mm -hmm. Carson's is the only department store. So on the other hand, though, malls are starting to reinvent themselves. So after talking to some folks in the know, we laid out three possibilities. Right now at Carson's, everything must go. But what might come here after the mall's biggest anchor packs up and leaves? You know, for years and years and years, that was retail, retail, retail. Bill French specializes in retail properties for Cushman and Wakefield. He knows a lot of people would love to see an urban target or fitness center in this space. Big box retail would be nice, but you know, it could be cut up in three or four different units, including some restaurants possibly. Here's another thought. How about coming home to the mall, putting apartments or condos where Carson's is? Adding apartments to shopping centers is something mall manager Simon has done in Garland, Texas, Edina, Minnesota, and will soon do in Atlanta, Georgia. I love the idea. I mean, it's so hot downtown. People want to live downtown. That's a really cool building. It's a great location. I think it could be a smash success for residential. The city is also shopping for another convention center hotel, one that would be nearly as big as the JW Marriott. Part of the criteria for that new hotel, it has to be downtown, and it has to be connected to a skywalk, which this is. French says building a hotel here could drive more retail traffic. Hotels do a lot because, first of all, people that come for hotels are always looking to shop. They're always looking, looking to dine out. So I think a hotel could be very, very good for that location and very good for the mall. But he also feels that a boutique hotel would be a better fit. He also mentioned office space. And we actually heard the same from several other experts we talked to today about the possibilities. Yeah, and uh, along with the experts, we're hearing from folks on Facebook, too. That's right. We posed the question, what do you want to see there? And some of the things we heard were uh, Dillard's, a Macy's, Bass Pro Shop, Dick's Sporting Goods Store, Walmart, you name it. We heard it. Yeah, right. so they're still thinking retail, and we're right. thinking housing, hotel, something kind like that. Kind of going it. beyond, again, yeah. looking outside the box, so to speak. All yeah. right. Thank you, Mary. Mm -hmm. So with the Carson's closing, could this be another sign that retail is dying? Last year's school closing announcement set new records, about 7,000 closings nationwide. And that beat the previous high of 6,200 closings amid the financial crisis back in 2008. So when it comes to malls, many experts believe the future is pretty bleak. There's a new study released last summer that estimates between 20 and 25 percent of malls will close by the year 2022.